breasts and prove what is in your hearts. Allah is aware of what is hidden in the breasts of men. Lo, those of you who turned back on the day when the two hosts met, Satan alone it was who caused them to backslide because of some of that which they have earned. Now Allah hath forgiven them. Lo, Allah is forgiving, clement. O ye who believe, be not as those who disbelieved and said of their brethren who went abroad in the land or were fighting in the field. If they had been here with us, they would not have died or been killed, that Allah may make it anguish in their hearts. Allah giveth life and causeth death. And Allah is seer of what ye do. And what though ye be slain in Allah's way, or die therein, surely pardon from Allah and mercy are better than all that they amass. What though ye be slain or die, when unto Allah ye are gathered? It was by the mercy of Allah that thou wast lenient with them, O Muhammad. For if thou hadst been stern and fierce of heart, they would have dispersed from round about thee. So pardon them and ask forgiveness for them and consult with them upon the conduct of affairs. And when thou art resolved, then put thy trust in Allah. Lo, Allah loveth those who put their trust in him. If Allah is your helper, none can overcome you. And if he withdraw his help from you, who is there who can help you? In Allah, let believers put their trust. It is not for any prophet to deceive mankind. Whoso deceiveth will bring his deceit with him on the day of resurrection. Then every soul will be paid in full what it hath earned, and they will not be wronged. Is one who followeth the pleasure of Allah as one who hath earned condemnation from Allah, whose habitation is the fire, a hapless journey's end. There are degrees of grace and reprobation with Allah, and Allah is seer of what ye do. Allah verily hath shown grace to the believers by sending unto them a messenger of their own, who reciteth unto them his revelations, and causeth them to grow and teacheth them the scripture and wisdom, although before he came to them, they were in flagrant error. And was it so, when a disaster smote you, though ye had smitten them with a disaster twice as great, that ye said, How is this? Say unto them, O Muhammad, it is from yourselves. Lo, Allah is able to do all things. That which befell you on the day when the two armies met was by permission of Allah, that he might know the true believers, and that he might know the hypocrites unto whom it was said, Come, fight in the way of Allah, or defend yourselves. They answered, If we knew aught of fighting, we would follow you. On that day they were nearer disbelief than faith. They utter with their mouths a thing which is not in their hearts. Allah is best aware of what they hide. Those who, while they sat at home, said of their brethren who were fighting for the cause of Allah, if they had been guided by us, they would not have been slain. Say unto them, O Muhammad, then avert death from yourselves, if ye are truthful. Think not of those who are slain in the way of Allah as dead. Nay, they are living. With their Lord they have provision. Jubilant are they because of that which Allah hath bestowed upon them of his bounty, rejoicing for the sake of those who have not joined them but are left behind, that there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. They rejoice because of favor from Allah and kindness, and that Allah wasteth not the wage of the believers. As for those who heard the call of Allah and his messenger after the harm befell them in the fight, 
for such of them as do right and ward off evil, there is great reward. Those unto whom men said, Lo, the people have gathered against you, therefore fear them. But the threat of danger increased the faith of them, and they cried, Allah is sufficient for us. Most excellent is he in whom we trust. So they returned with grace and favor from Allah, and no harm touched them. They followed the good pleasure of Allah, and Allah is of infinite bounty. It is only the devil who would make men fear his partisans. Fear them not, fear me, if ye are true believers. Let not their conduct grieve thee, who run easily to disbelief. For lo, they injure Allah not at all. It is Allah's will to assign them no portion in the hereafter, and theirs will be an awful doom. Those who purchase disbelief at the price of faith harm Allah not at all, but theirs will be a painful doom. And let not those who disbelieve imagine that the rain we give them bodeth good unto their souls. We only give them rain that they may grow in sinfulness, and theirs will be a shameful doom. It is not the purpose of Allah to leave you in your present state, till he shall separate the wicked from the good. And it is not the purpose of Allah to let you know the unseen, but Allah chooseth of his messengers whom he will to receive knowledge thereof. So believe in Allah and his messengers. If ye believe and ward off evil, yours will be a vast reward. And let not those who hoard up that which Allah hath bestowed upon them of his bounty Think that it is better for them. Nay, it is worse for them. That which they hoard will be their collar on the day of resurrection. Allah's is the heritage of the heavens and the earth. And Allah is informed of what ye do. Verily, Allah heard the saying of those who said, when asked for contributions to the war, Allah forsooth is poor and we are rich. We shall record their 